Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, I'll be showing you how you can create a complete Python app. Now in this video, the app will basically allow you to generate a random joke uh, out of five jokes that I collected here, but you can obviously add as many as you want. And what we're going to do as well is that we're also going to add, keep it as a widget. So we'll probably just also display the time and the date when the app is launched on the screen. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to do is I just want to import the date time library and that will basically just allow me to use the date and time. And because we want to display the date and time, maybe this is something that we can just start working on. So for that, we're going to create a new variable and we're going to call it today date. And that will basically have date time dot date time dot now. And what this does is that it actually collects the full in long formatted date of right now. And to show you what that means is if I print today date like this and go ahead and run this, you'll find out that it actually prints the entire date for you. So 2022, July um, 6, and then the time, including the seconds and everything else. And we don't want that much detail. Um, so let's start working on formatting it. To format it, I use a very cool way, and that is basically I break down every component. So what I'll do is I'll put year is equal to today's date dot s f uh, sorry s t r f time, and inside of here we're going to be putting percentage and then y. And if I go ahead and print that for you, e and run it, well we're gonna get 2022. So uses the, using the same logic, we can basically get the month, the date, the hour, the minute, and so on. So what I'll do is I'll actually go ahead and copy this. And then I'll come over here and I'll say month. I'll paste that over here. I'll come and we're going to swap the Y for Y with an M for month. We're going to come over here and we're going to do the exact same thing. Except here, this will be D for day. Um, and now obviously if I go ahead and print any of them, it will work. So let's go ahead and see how we can actually format this to be the date. So now we can say something like formatted date and I'll go ahead and say day plus here I'll put, put it like this and it's, it's giving us an error because it's a lowercase day and then another plus and then inside of here i'm going to be putting month plus and then here i will be putting e and now if i go ahead here and put in formatted date and print this instead of getting that really long um and relevant date now we just have the correct date all right so what are we going to do next well next let's actually create a list of a random uh, jerks that I've got here and to do this what I'll do is instead of printing now I'll just create jerks list I'll open and close a bracket and inside of here I'm just gonna go ahead and prepare because I know we have five so this is one two three four and five so now we can go ahead and start copying them and after adding all of them now we can actually start using them to do something so the first thing i want to do is i actually just want to print it out and show you what happens when we print the entire jokes. So if I go ahead and say print jokes list, we're going to get a list of the entire thing. If I go ahead and put in zero, it's going to show me the first item on that list at position zero. What's the best thing about Switzerland? So now I want you to think with me how we're going to do this. And what I'm thinking is we're going to create a while loop. And while the loop is still positive, what we want to do is we want to, every time the user um, clicks on something or every time the user enters um, N for next, it's going to generate a random 
for another joke. So what we can do is we can straight away go ahead and start using while and I'll just say while true because we wanted to actually keep running until the user himself decides to break out of the while loop. So while true, it's probably a good idea to ask the user for a joke. So what we want to do is we actually want to welcome the user as soon as they run this app. We want to print out welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to click. That's basically what we want the user to do. So now what we can what we can do is over here we're going to actually collect the user input. And to do this, what we want to do is we want to create a new variable, and that variable will basically just be called user input input is equal to input. And inside of here, we're just going to say n or q. Now, if the user input is in fact n, then what we want to do is that we actually want to print a randomly generated joke. And to do this, what we can do is we can simply say print jokes list. And then remember when I told you that if we put zero here, it's going to print the first one. What we can do is we can regenerate a random number and pass it over here. And that way it's going to randomly enter a position here that's going to be printed. So how do we actually generate a random number? To generate a random number, first we need to import a new library. We're going to go over here and we're going to type import random, or actually we need to say from random import. And I'm just going to put a star and that way we can import everything at once. And then after that, what I'll be doing is, first I want to show you how the random generator works. So if I come over here, print, and I can say print rand int. Inside of here, I'll put 0, and inside of here, I'll put 10, for example. What will happen is that if I go ahead, and I'm just going to comment these out so that they don't run. If I go ahead and run this, we're going to get 0. If I go ahead and run it again, we get 6. If I go ahead and run it again, we get 5. And basically what this is doing is it's generating a random number between 0 and 10. This works exactly fine, but if we end up generating number seven and our list only has six jokes then our app is going to crash so to tackle this what i will do is i'll come over here and instead of putting 10 instead of putting a hard-coded uh, line i'll say jokes list dot length minus one i'm just gonna go ahead and put all of this inside of a bracket and i just want to put it inside its own bracket which is proving to be very difficult to do there we go and now if I go ahead and run this, you'll see that we have one, you'll see that we have three, you'll see that we have another three, but it's never going to go over the length of this list, which is five. So there we go. Now we can actually use this to generate the random joke. I'll go ahead and I'll remove the object, uh, the, the hashtag. And now we can go over here and we can say, we can basically copy this and bring it over here. And now if I go ahead and run this, it's going to ask me welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to quit. And if I click on N and enter, basically it's meant to start printing. Oh, it's if I press on N like this, it's going to ask me for or basically show me a random joke. So let's go ahead and pause this for a second and just reflect on what happened. When I actually put n like a small n, it didn't work. So what I want to do is first of all, I want to make it so that it's a lowercase n. And then what I want to do is I actually want to change this into lower so that they're always automatically converted to lower even if the user enters something in caps lock. So now after we're printing this, what we want to do is we want to check after this if the user ends up putting Q because if they do then we need to quit so I'm going to say if user input 
is equal to Q. Then we need to break. And let's go ahead and run this and see the difference. So now if I run it, it's going to ask me, welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to quit. And if I click on N, we get a new joke. Let's go ahead and try a different one. And you can see that it's randomly just generating jokes. Now, what happens if I actually click on Q? It breaks out of the uh, window. So what I want to do is I actually, after breaking, I want to print another message. And I want to say, thank you for using random jokes. And something else that we forgot to do is actually include the time. So we want to say, welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to quit. So now, uh, straight away after this, or actually right before, it would be a good idea to print the date. So we can go ahead and enter formatted date. Let's go ahead and remove this, and let's go ahead and run our program one last time. Welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to quit. Again, if I click on N, we get a random joke. If I click on Q, it breaks and it says thank you for using random jokes and it also has the date. This works perfectly and right before we turn this into an executable what I want to do is I actually want to create a way for the user to add jokes into this. So let's go ahead and get that started. What I'll be doing is I'm actually going to go ahead and create another option here. So print uh, welcome to random jokes, press N to generate a joke or Q to quit or A to add a joke and we're going to go over here and basically we're going to say if user input is equal to A then what we want to do is we want to ask the user for some input so we're going to say user joke is equal to input please enter your joke like this and then what we want to do is we want to say jokes list dot append and we basically want to put user joke there we go and then finally we're going to print the entire list for the user. We're going to say updated list and then we're going to be adding the actual list. So there we go. Let's actually run this and see if we successfully did this. So I'm going to run it. Welcome to random jokes. Press N. Actually I just realized that it only has N Q. Let's also add a. So let's go ahead and run this. Welcome to random jokes. Press N to generate a joke or Q to quit or A to add a joke. First of all, let's actually click on N to get a joke. Did you hear about the mathematician? Whatever. Now let's click on A. Please enter your joke. Well, I wanted to say, um, I'm just going to say anything. This is a funny joke. And now you can see that it sends me or prints for me the updated list including the one that I just wrote, which is this is a funny joke. And let's try our luck. Imagine if clicking on N will actually get it for us. Oh, there we go. We got it over here. And now if I just click on Q, we're going to quit. Thanks so much for watching this. Now in part two, I will turn this into an executable and you'll be able to see it and use it straight away. Both these videos will be, alive, uh, will be live on YouTube as soon as I update this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you do leave a like and a subscribe and see you in the next episode. Have a good day.